So I was sitting there Tuesday night, and I'm like, what am I going to do? I know what I'll do. I'll watch SmackDown. Damn. Guess I'm getting serious about getting back into this, huh? Ugh. After three hours of Raw, I decided to be a glutton for punishment and watch two more hours of WWE product in the form of SmackDown. But at least, hey, even when it sucks, it's only two hours, not three. What do you guys say? And the show kicks off. And... Of course, the highlight of the night, I think, for a lot of people, most everybody that watched, was probably Kevin Owens' promo. It wasn't that long, but it was pretty good. But to see the reaction to this promo after it happened just reminded me of a couple of things. Number one, how short everybody's memories truly are. Number two, how low the bar and standards have been set for the WWE product today. And number three, why sometimes it is so hard for me to enjoy something because everybody goes and gets fucking crazy and loses themselves every time. I understand fan is short for fanatic, but Jesus Christ, let's get a little control here. And looking at Twitter and Seeing the reactions of some of these wrestling fans and wrestling talkers and wrestling sites and so forth, this made me want to vomit, man. Like, this is why we can't have nice things. Because everybody has to go and fucking ruin it by overreacting as a pathetic way to justify why they continue to watch this crap. I mean, that's the way, to me, it kind of comes across. I'm just going to use a few tweets here as an example of what I'm talking about. At Adam Gerhold, Kevin Owens with the best shoot promo ever. Ever. Like in the history of shoot promos and work shoot promos of all effing time. Austin and Flying Brian back in the freaking ECW days. Paul Heyman talking about, you know, even something this big can look that small and something that damn wide. Like all the shit. Him cutting a fucking work shoot promo on TNN and all this other crap. Fucking CM Punk's pipe bomb and so many other work shoot promos you've seen over the years. Bret Hart saying this is bullshit. Kevin Owens in a minute and a half had the best shoot promo ever. And this guy was not the only person to say this. Like how ridiculous have we gotten at Jesse the Buckeye? Oh, because she's blonde and she looks decent. Of course, now everybody's going to fucking agree with her. You're not betting her, so you might as well get the fuck over and have your own opinion. Kevin Owens just became the top face babyface in the company with one promo. Amazing. He became the top babyface in the company with one promo. Oh, here's somebody with a blue check mark at Glenn Rubenstein. And with this promo, Kevin Owens becomes the top babyface in the WWE. Number one, it ain't saying shit. Number two, how the fuck does that happen in a minute and a half? Number three, how is this any better than the damn promo he just cut last week on... Wait for it. <laughs> Fuck Dolph Ziggler. A minute and a half worth of promo, and he's the top babyface in the company. Maybe I'll see how ridiculous that sounds. You don't even know what they're going to do to follow up on this. If you sat there and maybe said that he clearly has made a face turn, that's valid. You like where this is going. Valid. You appreciate him cropping on Shane McMahon being on TV too much. Valid, valid, and valid. But talk about him being the top babyface in WWE based off of what metrics? Ridiculous. And Sean Ross Sapp. Always good to say something brown nose and kiss ass about WWE. Just like that, Kevin Owens is mega over as a babyface. A fantastic decision capitalizing on a lot of the legit disdain over seeing Shane McMahon on TV. Doug DeCenzo is better than Bip Roberts, Sean. Always remember that. But seriously, mega over as a baby face. <sighs> Kevin Owens as a baby face in this two-week period of time, mind you, in no way, shape, or form measures up to even Kofi Kingston a few months ago in his pursuit of the WWE Championship at WrestleMania as a fucking baby face. Let alone you're saying he's mega over as a baby face compared to who? In modern times, if you want to see Mega Over as a babyface, you look at guys like Daniel fucking Bryan in his 2014 run. You look at CM Punk in 2011. Those are guys that were Mega Over as a babyface 
in terms of the modern fucking climate of WWE. In no way, shape, or form does Kevin Owens measure up to that at fucking all. And if we want to talk about mega overs of baby babies, this again is representative of just how low the bar has been set and how much the standards have fallen. Hulk Hogan was mega over as a babyface. The Ultimate Warrior was mega over as a babyface. Sting was mega over as a babyface. Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock, mega over as fucking babyfaces. The Undertaker, mega over as a fucking babyface. Kevin Owens is not any of those guys and never fucking will be. Give me a goddamn break. And then wrestle talk. Kevin Owens' promo on SmackDown last night was one of the best things on WWE TV in ages. If that is really true, when you talk ages to me, ages means years. As shitty as the product's been, every couple of months you'll get something fucking great. I mean, even the blind girl finds a nut once in a while. But a minute and a half promo, which arguably wasn't even as good as the Spitfire roast he put on late for it, <laughs> fucked off Ziggler last week. Now is the best thing we've seen on WWE TV in ages. This reminds me of this shit with NXT. Every time there's an NXT show, it's the greatest damn NXT pay-per-view special event of all time until the next one, because that also has to be the best of all time, because it can never have a bad fucking show. So like the idiots back in the day that were sitting there giving fucking ROH ratings and star ratings to the goddamn moon, and it ruined all their credibility. Because I don't care how good or great something is, at some point in time, there is going to be a lull. There is going to be a valley. It cannot possibly maintain. It cannot possibly be the same. You look at the two greatest golfers of all time. Jack Nicklaus, Tiger Woods. Jack won 18 majors. Tiger has now won 15. Jack finished runner-up 19 other times in majors. Tiger's had a few of those as well. What that means in throughout their lengthy careers is that there were a lot of times they didn't fucking win. So they weren't always the best every single time they went out there. But I digress. It's like, can't we just enjoy something for it being good without over-sensationalizing, getting caught up in our own bullshit, setting ourselves up for the eventual failure that we know is to come because hashtag... WWE ruins everything, people! Do I really need to remind you of this? What in the fuck makes you think that they're going to know what to do with Kevin Owens? What the fuck makes you think that they're going to validate this by making him an incredibly popular, money-drawing, fannies and seats, fucking making happen baby face? Well, because of a Heyman or a fucking Bischoff? We're going back to the past to try and find a path to the future. There are elements of that that can work, but by God, that's not going to be the secret to fix every fucking thing. But damn, man. Top babyface in the company with a minute and a half promo. Seems a bit extreme. Top babyface in the WWE off of a minute and a half promo. And the promo the week before on, you guessed it, <laughs> Fuck Dolph Ziggler was better than this one! Being mega over as a babyface. We shouldn't flippantly throw words out there like mega over as a baby face with absolutely zero business metrics to back that shit fucking up. Like three months from now, if SmackDown live event attendance improved, television ratings went up, and Kevin Owens as a babyface was the central focal point of that, then what Sean Ross Sapp had said would have validity. Validity, excuse me, would have potential merits. But right now, it sounds like overreaction fucking central. Stop trying to ruin everything, guys. Stop overreacting to every goddamn thing. Something can be good without it being earth-shattering. What Kevin Owens did on SmackDown was good. It was cool. It was short. It was sweet. It was to the point. Fantastic. Stop pretending like it's going to be the magical elixir that saves fucking SmackDown and WWE. Give me a damn break.